guys Debbie here welcome to my channel or welcome back super excited for this one because I'm going to be showing you the Colourpop and Barbie collection I picked up the majority of the collection apart from the mirror and the lashes so we've got the Malibu Barbie eyeshadow palette the Beach Party Super Shock highlighter and I picked up all three of the lip duos so I've created this look that I'm wearing right now so if you want to see all of the products up close and then see how I created this look then please keep on watching. Okay guys, I'm just gonna show you all the items up close and then we'll start creating a look with them. So I picked up the majority of the bundle. You could have got a whole bundle with lashes and a mirror for $99. Decided I didn't need the lashes and the mirror. Don't wear lashes and the mirror was really tiny. So I saved myself $14 by not getting those things and yeah, just getting the things that I really wanted. So I picked up the Beach Party Highlight. That's the outer packaging for that. It's just sunshine on the, the box and just really, really pretty, I think. I really love how all of this has been packaged. That's the inner packaging. For a highlight, it's absolutely enormous. You could use this face and body, I think. It's quite a deep colour for me as a highlight, but I think I can make it work if I sort of layer it over my blush a bit, but like a golden kind of colour. I love the marbling through it as well. I picked up all three of the lip duos because these got a lip pencil and a lipstick in and they're shades that I just don't have in my collection. So we've got the Malibu Sunset, we've got the Dream House and Golden Beach there. The packaging for these lipsticks is absolutely adorable. It's kind of transparent, really pretty pink packaging. This is the one that interests me the most. This one's Malibu Sunset. I love that kind of raspberry tone. So that's the one I'm probably gonna be trying out today. And you've also got a lip liner that matches it. They feel like they're, well, they are a plastic packaging, but they don't wind up. So they're, they're plastic, but sharpenable, a bit like the NYX Jumbo Pencils. Next up is the shade Dream House. Beautiful rosy pink. And again, the lip liner to match that. Last up, we've got Golden Beach, just a, a nude kind of tone. This won't be the most flattering on me, I don't think, because it's super pale and I'm super pale, but, but yeah, I just wanted all three of the shades in the collection. And again, obviously, have the, the lip liner for that. But the Cream Luxe lipsticks from Colourpop are my favourites that I've tried from them so far. I've got the Sophia Nygaard ones, absolutely love those, and I wanted a summer kind of version, so... I think they're going to be perfect for what I wanted them for. And then last up, we've got the palette, which is the Barbie and Colourpop Malibu Barbie palette. And again, it's super beautiful packaging. On the back, you've got all the shade names and they're all in heart kind of shapes. There's a really pretty mirror inside and then that's the shades. And I think this is just summer in a palette. It's the sort of palette that I would take traveling. It's got those azure blues and like sandy kind of tones that pop of hot pink. I think there's quite a lot you could do with it, but it's kind of half neutral, half a, a pop of colour. Really love the colour pop formula normally, so just really wanted this. I just think it's, as I say, sunshine in a palette. So let's get started. I'm going to start by putting the highlighter on and trying that out. I'm going to use the Kaleidos H1 brush. As I say, I think this might be a little bit dark for me. Oh, I don't know. It's giving me like a, a golden glow got quite a, a pinky blush and I've taken it fairly high so I can almost use this as like a, a blush topper as it were. I love the Super Shock formula though, it's just like cream to powder kind of goodness, it just melts into your skin, it's just really really beautiful. I think this on your shoulders if you're going on a, a holiday night out would just be so pretty. Yeah, I really like how that looks actually. I thought I wouldn't get away with it, but no, I think it's really, really pretty. It's perhaps a little bit more flattering on me than my favourite from them, which is Flexitarian. That is quite icy and this has got a lot more gold to it. No, I'm not sad about that at all. It's super pretty. For primer today, I'm just going to go in with my normal one. It's the Mac Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do because I really want to use the blues. I know, who am I? I don't really do a blue look very often. I love that just simplicity of having a blue lower lash line and then 
just kind of neutral on the lids but we'll incorporate some pink as well I want to use as many shades as I can okay so what are we going to do with the palette there's so many options to take it in different directions I think with this one while still creating really pretty looks but I think I'm going to keep it fairly simple so I'm going to start with the shade boardwalk and I'm just going to take that boardwalk shade in at outer throughout my crease as a transition shade to use to blend some of the pinks into I think I'm just going to go for pretty much of a pinky kind of look on the upper lids and blue on my lower lash line I know revolutionary but it's just what this palette kind of screams to do I think and I'm not going to be doing a wing today or anything complicated at all I just want to keep things as I say just simple and pretty the kind of way that I would do my makeup if I was on holiday Look at the tone of this shadow, it's like a salmony pinky shade and it's really pretty. I don't know if I've got anything quite like this in my collection. I'm going to take that up quite high. Work on just really making that diffused and blown out and blended. But yeah, it's a good start because I really like how that's looking, that's really pretty. I could honestly just use this in the crease and a super shock shadow on the lid and be quite happy to go in my outer v here i'm going to go in with the shade best coast oh that's pretty as well i spent a long time avoiding pink and now i'm starting to really get into pink on my eyes and that's just so pretty i'm gonna sort of take that pink up into like the outer kind of third of my crease as well just to give us a little bit more drama in the outer corner sort of wing it out a little bit as well nothing complicated at all though I'm going to take that same best coast shade just in the outer third of my lower lash line as well and connect up just using a smudge brush just to start with and then I'll blow that out a little bit. I don't want to get quite close to my lower lash line. I'm only going to take it a little way though and then I'm going to blend it into the blue. Just taking a bit of that best coast shade just on a blending brush now and just blending underneath where I've laid that down in the outer corner. Just going back with the original blending brush that had boardwalk on it just to Make sure everything's seamless around the edges. Next up I'm going to take Malibu Memories and I'm going to take that in this front part of my lower lash line. I'm just going to pack that down to start with. And then just where that meets in the middle, just going to blend that just a little bit. And I'm just blending below that just to diffuse that inner corner just a little. Now I'm going to go in with NYX Glitter Primer. Definitely don't want to be doing any sort of cut crease today. I think a holiday look you wouldn't faff about with any of that. You just apply the shadows. But just using this primer will just hopefully make those shadows pop. Although I think there are some super shock shadows in here. So I think they'll pop quite well anyway so I'm going to go with follow the sun in the outer part of my lid and then vintage doll on the inner part so keeping very much with the pink theme oh that's so pretty it's just the perfect Barbie pink they've really nailed the shade selection for this palette it's beautiful and as I say on the inner part I want to use vintage doll oh again that's pretty my inner corner I'm going to go in with Cali Girl which is the lightest one in the palette there just as a pop of brightness just to bring everything together in the corner 
in the kind of center bit of my lower lash line I really want to try that shade surfs up so we're going to do that okay so that's the look super simple I'm just going to hop off camera for some mascara I think I'm going to use a blue mascara today and apply one of the lips and I'll be back with you to show you the completed look okay so this is the finished look finished it off with my girl bang mascara as I said I would do in the blue and then in my waterline I've gone in with NYX glide on pencil in the shade azure just brings out that that blue on the lower lash line just makes your eyes really pop i think so if i'm not wearing a wing liner i think using quite a colorful lower lash line and waterline and a colorful mascara really adds a certain something and it's very very pretty and summery and then for lips today i went in with malibu sunset which was my favorite of the three of the creme luxe lipsticks so i used the lip liner which was super creamy and easy to apply and i just love the lipstick formula of these anyway i knew i would i think the packaging is super super pretty they're going to look gorgeous in my pink beauty room and then my thoughts on the other products then well i didn't expect to love the highlight quite as much as i do the only thing i don't like about it is this plastic horrible packaging it's the box is lovely to it the design on that but this packaging inside is quite plasticky and it's quite difficult to undo i've left it open so that i don't struggle but the product inside is what you're buying it for and it looks like it will be too deep on me but I think it's going to be quite a universally flattering shade actually. I've used it kind of over my blush and the formula of these is just like melt into the skin but super shiny. Almost looks wet look. It's just beautiful. And as I say there's enough of it there that you'd be able to use it as a body highlight maybe. Like on your collarbones or your shoulders and I think it would look really really gorgeous on a holiday. And then last but not least, the Malibu Barbie palette. I think this is stunning. This is the star of the show for me. I think the packaging, the outer packaging is just gorgeous. It feels weighty in quality actually. The mirror's beautiful, but it's the selection of shades. It's Barbie in a palette, like they've nailed that for sure. But it's the sort of palette that I would take on a holiday because it's got all of the sort of shades that you're going to want that kind of effortlessly go together that you don't have to think about but that look super pretty and you can go neutral with some of these kind of goldy shades you can put a pop of yellow in there you've got the pink the orange the blue so there's enough variety for me to take away with me if I was going on a beach holiday but you can make you know quite simple looks that you don't have to sit there thinking how am I going to blend this and that together which you really don't want to spend that sort of time if you're going on a beach holiday so I think it's perfect for that and yeah really really think they executed it well I think if you're thinking of Barbie these are the shades that you would think to put in a palette so that's my thoughts on it and my first look with it I think I'll be using this a lot in my own time in the summer I think it's the sort of one that's really easy to just reach for and just just create something super pretty when you don't have very much time to to do an eyeshadow look so so yeah hope you enjoyed seeing the look come together you guys will have to let me know if you pick this up or if you're intending to Colourpop I've got a 30% off site-wide sale at the moment so it is still available I'll link uh, Colourpop site down below but if you want to pick it up as I say it's super affordable for me I bought it at full price but I used the Tremu code and with the shipping I think the shipping was free actually because I was over 60 pounds it cost me 66 pounds in total for three lipsticks three lip liners a highlighter and an eyeshadow palette coming all the way from from the states I don't think that is too bad a deal at all which is why I'm starting to buy a lot more Colourpop these days so so yeah if you want it guys it's still around and you'll be able to get a really really good discount on it if you're buying it this weekend so that brings us to the end of the video hope you've enjoyed it if you're new to my channel then I'd love it if you might consider subscribing before you go and also if you've enjoyed the video then hit the like button for me as that really helps me out in the old algorithm thing but other than that guys hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys